Welcome guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host SK Gitonga and this is the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. So as I was going across the streets, some of you suggested that we should talk about picketing. And on to our first question, do you think the government should provide security for people who are picketing? Let me know what you think. Yeah, if it's picketing, it's like, you know, stipulated in law, they need to have security. And I think that's why they usually write a letter to whatever officer commanding station for that particular region that will be having demonstrations, picketing. We require that you help us with the necessary assistance. I think, yeah, they should be provided. That has no you know, discussion on it. If somebody is protesting peacefully, they don't need any security. Because if they're protesting uh, peacefully, then we don't expect anybody to 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 maybe use any sort of weapon against them because come on a protest peacefully then there's a peaceful demonstration yeah i'm not repeating myself but actually that's the point yes i think they should but do it in a more calm way do it in a way that it it it, it shows that we are trying to help you or we are trying to solve this equation or this problem and not in a sense of like we are out there doing like being all violent and everything yeah i think they should yes definitely the government should the government should see this um like we at a cc tunatetea your government tunatetea our our ma police tunawatetea sijui mbona i don't know why that sound hard, sounds hard to them kwa sababu tunawatetea Say a fund and a lipo of fifteen to twenty five thousand, if I'm not wrong. Sasa yom shara kidogo, a takim chukwe hongo, nas tukiwa tetea, ni nyinyum na tupiga. Surely, who does that at these times? Na pia nyinyi mona skari me panda, pia nyinyi mona mafte me panda, pia nyinyi mona ma kila kitu me kuwa ngu moment. You guys doing this together, bana. Let's work as a team to send mbali. Otherwise, kama unakuja kunipiga niki kutetea, utabaki hapo. Exactly. I believe that uh, as per the Kenyan constitution, uh, right to peaceful assembly and picket is, uh, is enshrined within it. So the government should uh, provide security to the people who are peacefully and picketing and assembling and to, to present their petition to the public authorities. So. I don't, uh, I really, I strongly feel that the government should provide them with the security. I think they should, because that's their right. But at the same time, um, if I walk in a street and they know that ile street kuna kwanga na wasiwa naiba, will I go through that street? No, I'll go in a safer street. So why will I need to go somewhere which is not secure to demand security when I can do something to be on the safer side? It's something that you would avoid it yourself. I think it's a right. Kenyans should protest if they want to because it's, our, it's in our constitution, you know. As Kenyans, we stand out in the third world countries because we are third world, that's a fact. We stand out because we have a very strong constitution, but it's up to the Kenyans to stand up for their rights because we have our rights. Yes, uh, rioting is uh, in the constitution. It's a right for, for every Kenyan. The police are employed to protect the citizens of Kenya. Yeah, and uh, as long as it's peaceful, there is no problem. First of all, I don't think uh, the people who are out here demonstrating, or uh, I don't think we are doing the demonstrations or the picketing according to like uh, how it's stipulated in the in the constitution. Because you're told we must of all, you first of all have to be peaceful. First of all, I, personally, I can't. I kind of categorize them as riots. I don't think uh, people are demonstrating. They're kind of rioting yeah, because you have you have, uh, you have you have stones throwing at police, and uh, in as much as the police, uh, you know, which is under the government, has the job, it ha it is mandated to kind of protect people, whether they're demonstrating, uh, whether they are doing their normal businesses. Yeah, the government should provide provide that security for them. Because whatever they're doing is trying to communicate to that government. So if you can't provide the security, at least don't attack them. Yeah, let them just riot in peace. We are Kenyans. Now we understand the economy. Because even our president, Mr. Honorable Dr. William Samui Ruto, wakati alijoin kwa government, 
things were tough too. Things were tough actually. So I don't see any reason for we as Kenyans or youths protesting against our own nation because we are one. Even if we join this demonstration, it's our own economy due to Nayangusha. As citizens, we should come to understand that we employ these leaders. So they should work for us. If we're demonstrating, we're not demonstrating because we don't have something to do. We're demonstrating because there's a right that has been taken away from us and we're trying to claim it back. So I think the government should protect their citizens. Yes, they should provide security for peaceful uh, demonstrators because we have some people who have ulterior motives and of course uh, anywhere where we have like a large crowd we have people who are trying to take advantage so it is very important that we have people who are there to enforce the law. On to our next question, do you think picketing solves the high cost of living? Let me know what you think. It doesn't solve any issue. Why? If I am someone to do on a day-to-day -day basis, I eat on that day, so in a mention when a home bill, do Gianini, Gia high cost of living, something that it could have been avoided if I had stayed to my own place. Nifanyana na kasul yangu, and then you didn't make a by the way something is not happening. But I ask someone a question, because most of us, generally, we do a lot of file nil. Maraminge, ata kuna fanya hassle, ume file nil. So, and then we are the ones who are going to go mandamano because of high taxes. So why would we do an unfair justice to the government when we ourselves have not done the right roles? Yes, because bile mandamano actually, kila kitu sayinge kwa times to again, 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 Bila Mandamano, Rutuanga Kwana pressure, honestly speaking. So it's, it's, it's triggering, it's triggering something to the government. You know, Nyesha, ata, ata ukiona ima Mandamano ina shaidia, bitu zina, zinaacha kupanda vile zilikuwa zinapanda. So it's like, things are, at, at, at least, to say to survive, depending on a month ago. A month ago, kila kitu ilikuwa inapanda, tunamka kila kitu imepanda, fair. Everything. Kila kitu mepanda. So mino na ima andamano, at least ina shikilia wa Kenya. Bila maandamano, things would have gone crazy out of this world. Sijua nataka tufikie maju hivo raisi. Because the cost of living is highly, highly going up. Not really. Uh, if you look at, uh, I'll give an example. Um, in Kibra, uh, when we have demonstrations there, everything is at a standstill. And uh, in a place such as Kibra where, you know, people go out to kind of uh, mix, to make the ends meet for the day, like, you know, get money for, you know, buying food and uh, maybe keep buying other stuff for like that night. Now, if you kind of give them three days of not working, then that means there are people who will go for three days without eating. And I uh, remember these are not uh, people who are like, uh, maybe uh, single or something. They're people who have families, yeah? kids who will have to go to school. Kids even actually don't even go to school. Uh, people don't go to do uh, to trade, to do business, to earn money and uh, you know kind of uh, uh, sustain this, themselves for the day. So you'll find that people will be hungry, will stay, uh, will sleep hungry. And uh, if you compare it, uh, if people decide, uh, if you know, if we decided like you know, let's look for another alternative other than going out and uh, picketing and demonstrating. If you know, we chose another route that would allow people to kind of do their business. But then at the same same time, you know, kind of have their issues uh, aired out in a different way. If you have a balance, then the economy will not suffer. Mantamano. Well, people have got their voices, but then uh, there are a lot that needs to be put in place. There are a lot that needs to be put in place. And uh, mm, the government has got a system that is already, it has already set in place. Yeah, so Mantamano cannot settle anything. Well, it only shows the concerns of Kenyans, uh, the concerns of, of, of Kenyans, what, what, what really matters to them, what they want, uh, what they feel comfortable about. And then uh, the government now, from that point, they can be able to go and act on those issues. Yeah, because not everything that Mantamano or Watafanya or their voice 
not everything the government will comply with ama wata, wata act on it yeah so it's always upon the government and sometimes before people wafanye mandamano uh, they just ought to sit down and uh, try to figure out what really matters picketing no actually picketing increases because unapata wame destroy mashamba if the incident in Thika Road wame destroy the shops the village market the mamamboga your place so yeah i think picketing um increasing the mostly i think it's about talking planning and uh, execution picketing only causes a lot of chaos the one we do in kenya you are pana you it's just chaos that one mm -mm. but if it were peaceful like we just walk and then we just write whatever we want on billboards without creating chaos it be it be better but here to here to nabana i think it's high time for kenya to protest you know it's in, it's in our constitution haki yangu kama mkenya i mean i want to go to the streets because i want to live a long life but i don't even vote you know because it, it don't make sense like a majority of the people are voting in trash in trash out trash in trash out most of our leaders right now they have cases in court most of them have murdered people most of them have embezzled funds, you know, it's not like something new. So, I mean, say you had a company, yeah, SK, you had a company, you had a business, yeah? Um, you are to employ someone, an accountant or a financial manager, and then you employ someone you know has a case in court or had a case in court. Would you employ that person? So that's what Kenyans do essentially. We employ thieves and we expect them to be saints. So we're just being stupid, foolish, and we're just... We just we just we just acting and playing the fool basically. Yes, in a, in as much as a, other people are criticizing picketing, of course uh, it has some economic effects. And uh, when people peacefully assembly uh, assemble and picket, um, it can solve the high cost of living because we have a government whereby they don't. They really don't have a touch of uh, what is going with the people on the ground. So, like uh, having a punitive taxes on uh, basic commodities, uh, basically no one can uh, justify that. Uh, hiking, uh, uh, increasing the taxes on basic commodities can solve the the high cost of living. So, I think the government of Kenya only understand the. the the language they mostly understand is uh, is picketing, and when that is done, at least it will uh, it will send them some some message that the situation is not good on the ground. Yeah, it does. It brings to the attention of the government that people are not really comfortable, people are not happy, contrary to what you're being advised, that people are okay, people are not okay. So yeah, picketing I feel like it does that. It does. If anything, I feel it's still subtle, like uh, it needs to be more than picketing, but it's at least a volume towards that big voice that is needed. So yeah, it's one step towards. It doesn't, fo it doesn't solve actually, it doesn't solve. Because ata tuki, tuki toka subui, the person mwenye maybe ame to say, ame tuambia tuende to riot, ama tuende yo picketing. The person akosawa, lakini sisi wenye tuspoingia kwa wakazi kujitegemea ama tutafte hiyo, watoto wetu watalala nja. Our brothers and sisters watalala nja. It, it kind of does because it brings a sense of like, there is something that in, that's in the society that's not working. So it brings that question also to the government for them to be like, okay, wow, something is actually not working. But... At the same time, why would you like go and do bad things and like destroy property? That makes our economy go down. Picketing, if done in the right way, could actually lead to desired results because the government does get to listen to demonstrators. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>